Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, Jake Johnson. You're wearing every hat putting this thing together. Congratulations. Thanks. Great, great movie. Thanks so you much. You wrote, you starred, you did it all. Talk to me about Digging for Fire. Well, Digging for Fire is an interesting one because, you know, it's a Joe Swanberg movie. So, written by means it was a three page outline. Uh, and produced, our crew was, I think, 20 people total. So, he makes movies a little differently. They're smaller, they're more organic, they're kind of run and gun a little bit. And I really enjoyed doing them. Speaking of Joe, he just had a baby with Chris tonight. How he was supposed to be here, but he's got a valid yeah, excuse. I think that I got photos this morning. Little uh, Abigail Swanberg, welcome to the world. I love this movie because the, the premise is you find a bone in the backyard, yeah. and so much of that is a metaphor for just figuring out relationships and purpose in life. How do you come up with this type of stuff? Well, actually, the I actually did find a bone in my backyard, and <laughs> I was living in Atwater Village, California. And my wife and I were digging in our backyard to put a garden and I found a bone and a gun and a license plate and I called the LAPD and they said to me what they say in the movie. And so I told that to Joe and we thought that's enough to start a movie. <laughs> and we wanted the movie obviously to be about relationships and the couple, but we needed that kind of dead body to launch us. Got a great cast on board. Orlando, Bree, talk to me about working with these guys. You know, that was kind of the best part. It was, the, the these movies are such collaboration, so every actor was able to bring so much. Like Sam Rockwell brought so much. Mike Birbiglia did so much in this movie. Orlando's so great. Rosemary DeWitt, Brie Larson. I love her. Yeah, it's unbelievable. The, it, the, it just kind of keeps going on and on. Joe wanted it to feel like a real L.A. movie, and part of that is getting a lot of faces you recognize. You've had so much success, and I want to ask you about New Girl, because New Girl became yeah, this phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. So new season coming back, I yeah, think, right? So how awesome is it to see this show and the popularity and what it's become for you, Zoe, and everyone else? You know, it's a dream come true um, to have a job for five years. I think in my, Hollywood. In, how hard. about in life? Yeah, it's true. My longest job before this was, I think, about eight months. <laughs> so I can't believe I haven't been fired yet, and I hope it goes on for a lot of more years. Has it blown you away to see the fan response, how much people love it? it, it yeah, is. it's really nice. It's well, What we have, which is really great about the show, is we've had a really loyal group. And those who like the show really like it and have really stuck with us. And it's really unbelievable. It's nice. How is making something like this an indie movie different from a big TV production? It's funny. So my entire job on Digging for Fire was about an episode's worth of work for New Girl. So, unbelievable. Yeah, we, shot, we shoot this movie so fast and it's so, like, carefree. And, there's, you know, I shot for eight days on this movie. And each episode's five days. So it's about an episode and a half of New Girl, and then you can make an independent movie. What's next for you besides New Girl? Um, I'm taking a little bit of time off, and then I have another movie I shot this summer, but I'm going to kind of enjoy some time. How much did you love Jurassic World? I had to add, bring that up. <laughs> yeah. It was like it was just such a blast. It was a blast. I'm really happy for Colin Trevorrow, the director, and Derek Conley, the writer, and it was just a real blast to be part of it.